I'm the mayor, and my door is always open for you. My name is Tom Peters, and I'm in zoo trouble. Community spirit. How are you? <laughs> Shopping. Okay, folks, if you'll just follow me. Uh, we're almost done. Uh, here we are. And this is where our collection of uh, llamas used to be. Uh, Josie and Sam. They're not with us anymore. And over here we have the Jefferton Common Squirrel. Uh, there he is. We call him um, Nutty. He loves nuts, you know. And over here is the grand finale, uh, Michael Davidson. He's an ape. Uh, don't have that much information on him here. Shoot. Okay, folks, uh, let's um, head on over to the visitor center. You know, the Jefferton Public Zoo wasn't always a zoo. That's right. In pioneer days, these facilities held captive Indians and homosexuals. But up until a few years ago, we featured the wide spectrum of the animal kingdom. Budget cutbacks and a mysterious outbreak of Schiller's syndrome has forced us to sell most of our beautiful creatures to independent traders of rare animals. But don't worry, you'll find the Jefferson Public Zoo to be fun, educational, and full of adventure. And if you're lucky, our old friend Michael Davidson will come out of his cave and say hello. Hello, Michael. And hello to you. Yeah, hey Joy, it's Tom Peters. Uh, just wanted to give you a heads up that I'm volunteering all week at the public zoo. Excuse me, sir. One sec. Um, so I can't pick up the boys tonight. And boys? If I... I'm, I'm sorry, I just need to finish leaving this message here. Great. Oh, wait. I just need to speak to someone in charge. Okay, hold on. Um, I Just to say again, I can't pick up the boys tonight from soccer. Mayor here. Hun, I, I'm going to have to call you back. It's Tom Peters. Sir? I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Are you in charge here? Uh, I guess you could say that. It's um, good old Tom Peters. Great, Tom. I just wanted to complain about this stink house of a zoo here. Uh, you're telling me. I, mean, I don't want to point my finger, but uh, ever since Bernie Fusterellio's real-life incredible animal experience opened across the street, it's just been downhill. I mean, our attendance dropped 80% last week. Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, prob probably not. Come on, Tom. Let's go undercover and check out our competition. Welcome to the real life incredible animal experience. Prepare to be amazed and excited beyond your wildest dreams. The animal kingdom has never been so alive. For the sake of our animals, flash photography is prohibited. Please keep your arms, legs, and head inside the harness pod. Wow, it's pretty exciting stuff, isn't it, Tom? <laughs> to be honest, I'm a little spooked. Me too, buddy. But we're together on this. And after the ride, won't you visit our award-winning gift shop? <laughs> I'm Bernie Fusterellio, and welcome to my real-life incredible animal experience. Over the next 20 minutes, you will see literally hundreds of animals of all kinds, all without leaving the comfort of your harness pod. And if seeing is believing, then I command you to believe in the wildebeest of the Serengeti. Breath of the mighty lion. Beware the wild kingdom. Feel the fury of nature's most untamed beasts. Okay, that will be eight hundred and forty-seven dollars. Hmm, that's funny. All my loose change is gone. Huh? I'm missing my lucky sand dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I love this misting helmet, Tom. Darn it. How's our zoo going to compete with this place? Well, I was doing a little uh, meditating during the ride, and uh, uh -huh. I think if we can uh, spruce up our zoo and focus on the real animals that we have, I think we could... <laughs> I'm sorry, Tom. This thing's got a real hairpin trigger on it. Well, that's fine. No problem. But I like where you're going with this. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'd be willing to go ahead and pull an all-nighter, get Great. some plans together. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, I think the first thing we got to get, though, is um, is more animals. Good idea. Uh, of course, the cages need to be cleaned. Right. Um, you know, I might be able to pry the laptop from Joy, and I could put together a spreadsheet of all my ideas. <laughs> okay. 
So, we're pretty much done here. We started without you, buddy. Well, I, you know, I'd still like you to take a look at my spreadsheet. Tom, look at this. They're called electric sidewalks. I don't even have to move my legs. Well, I can see that. And here come the animals. Huh. Yeah, I didn't know you would literally dress up the animals. I, I thought you meant more of a cage clean. And there's the disco room. Well, it looks like they're having a great time. <laughs> they sure are. Look at them go. <laughs> and over here is the open-air cafeteria. Oh, well, that's pretty convenient, I guess. Yeah, well, that's the point. Uh, so listen, Tom, tomorrow's a grand opening, and I'm going to need you on overnight security detail to watch over my little angels. Oh, all right. My evening uh, should be pretty free, you know, depending on whether the book... Uh, I can't wait to see Bernie Fusarello's face when he sees what we cooked up here. Oh, good night, Mrs. Goat. Good night, Mr. Meerkat. Good night, Michael Davidson. Michael? Anyone home? Tom? Tom? Wake up! What? M Michael? Michael Davidson? Care for a game of chess? Well, to be honest, I'm uh, more of a checkers man, but... But you do know how to play, right? Uh, uh not so much. Um, uh, I've been meaning to bone up on some of those skills. Uh, I could settle for a rain check at this point. Um, you know, I'm just a little confused Never here. Never mind, I Tom. Listen closely. I have spoken to the Animal Council. You must close this zoo and release us back into the wild. Well, you know, I don't want to be a sheep in wolves clothing here, but uh, I've always felt a bit persnickety about the caging wild animals anyways. This is why I've chosen you, Tom. The Council has determined that you are the wisest of your species. Oh, thank you very much. The fate of animal kind relies on you closing this zoo. If not, there will be grave consequences for the human race. Grave! <sighs> I sure hope this is important, Mr. Peters. Oh, okay, it, it absolutely is. So, basically, Michael Davidson told me we gotta close the zoo immediately and return all the animals to the wild. The ape? Right. The, uh, <clears throat> ape? told you this? I, uh, I know it sounds crazy, but we don't have any time. The grand opening is in a few hours, and we have to get working here. You know, Michael said there would be grave consequences to pay if we didn't do what he said. Is he talking about a real animal? Who is this nut? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, let me handle this. <sighs> okay, Mr. Peters. Uh, we can sympathize with Michael uh, Davidson's request here, but... Uh, Financially speaking, we're just too heavily invested to close down the public zoo right now. I, I just wish someone would believe me. Don't worry, Tom. Everything will be just fine. Attention! Attention, everybody. Um, I'm about to go speak to the ape. Michael Davidson, so nobody panic, don't call security or anything. Uh, he's my friend and I have to give him some bad news. So everyone just please sit back, relax, and uh, watch as I now proceed inside the cage to apologize on behalf of humanity and uh, myself uh, to this noble beast. Michael, knock knock, hello, it's uh, Tom Peters here. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh my lord. What happened? You were attacked by Michael Davidson, Tom. What? I, I thought he was my friend. Take a look at this. Gene, load it up, please. Yeah, right, that's him, Michael Davidson. See, I told you I talked to him. Gene, bring it in 200%, please. <gasps> a zipper! That's right. Gene, another 400%. Aurelio. That's not all, Tom. Gene, play back the animal experience in slow-mo. Ah, that's a classic move there. See, all you gotta do is shake people around enough and all their loose change falls out of their pockets and in that funnel there, see? So they can just collect it in some sort of change basket. <laughs> Remember that change I lost? And my sand dollar. I bet he's making about 20 bucks a week on that racket. Let's get this son of a buster, Tom. There he goes. Now 
ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to reveal the true identity of this filthy animal. That's right, it's me, Bernie Fusterellio. Huh. I don't get it. Your new zoo would have ruined me. The change I was collecting from all you suckers in your loose pockets was making me tens of dollars a month. Well, I had to do something. I and mean, when it wasn't for you meddling fools, I would have gotten away with it, too. But I have one more surprise up my sleeve. <gasps> Mayor! Tom, I'm sorry. I just love that real, live, incredible animal experience so much. I just couldn't let it go down the tubes. Well, I have some news for you. It was me, Bernie Fusterellio, all along. <laughs> You're not Tom. Mayor's office. Where the hell is my stepfather? Absolutely.